Hello, I'm Mark from G-Code Tutor, and I'm here today with Practical Machinist to talk about if statements in G-Code and how we can use them to shorten our code with macro programming. So the idea with if statements is we're looking to see if a condition is true. If it is, we can run a part of code. If it's not, we can do something else. So before we go into this too deep, we need to look at the go to command because it's used a lot in if statements. So in the old days, every line of G code started with an N number. But in this day and age, we can just pop those N numbers wherever we like in the program so we can reference that part of the program. So when we use a go to command, we say go to a line number or an n number. So in this example, up here on our first line, we have go to 40. So what this would do, this would jump through the program until it sees n 40 and continue running the program from there. Now, as I said, we don't need to number every single line these days. So we can just do without all these n numbers at the beginning here and just have n 40 on the line we want to jump to. So back to our if statements. Now using go to commands on if statements is the quickest and easiest way to use them, but we can use other systems. So here we are saying if condition is true, then go to a line number. So let's see how this would look in G code. So we would write the G code like this. We would say if a variable is equal to another variable, then go to line 500. If it is not, it would carry on reading down the rest of the program. So for example, we could have go to line 700 below this. So now our macro makes a decision. It looks at our variable 200 and our variable 300. If they match, it's going to go to line 500. If they do not match, it's gonna carry on reading down the rest of the program. And in this case, it's going to jump to N700. So we're checking whether these two variables are equal to each other but we have other options. In a previous video with Practical Machinist that I've done, we spoke about conditional statements. Now these are some conditional statements available to us. We can have equals to, not equals to, greater than, less than, or greater than or equals to. So we do have some different options we can put in here to compare our two variables. And they don't necessarily both have to be variables. We could be seeing if a variable matches a number. So we could say if variable 300 is equal to one, then do something, etc., etc. We can also use if statements to compare two different conditions. So we can say if one condition is true and another condition is true, then perform an argument, then go do something. And the G code would look like this. So here, I'm asking the question, if variable 200 is equal to variable 300, and variable 250 is less than variable 350, then perform an action. So in this case, we're going to line N500. So we can use if statements to compare two different things to perform an action. And if both of these are true, then it will go to line 500. If one of these are not true, it will carry on reading down the rest of the program from below this line. So by using the AND operator, we're looking at two conditions, comparing them together, and if they are both true, then it's gonna perform an action. But what if we only want one of those conditions to be true to perform our action? Well, for that, we use the OR operator. So when using the OR operator, we are looking at two conditions, and if only one of them is true, then it's gonna perform an argument, it's gonna perform an action. So let's have a look, see how this would look written with G-code. So for an example line of code, it would look something like this. So we would say if variable 200 is equal to variable 300 or variable 250 is less than variable 350, then perform the following action, or in this case, go to N500. So why would we need to use this in our G-code program? Well, here's an example of a program to machine this pocket. And you can see how small it is. It's only just a few lines of code. And once you get used to programming with if statements, it doesn't take long at all to be able to write this. And I would argue it could be written almost as fast as a CAD machine would take to load up the software. 
So macro programming is really, really beneficial to speed up our programming, and there's many uses for it, but knowing if statements is a big part of being able to program with macros. Now, if you want more information on macro programming, I have an advanced course over on my website, specializes purely in macro. So pop over to my website at gcodetutor.com and go check it out.